Today on The Joy of Editing, we're exploring the Dark and Light and Center filter in Nick 8 Color Effects, a simple, powerful way to guide the viewer's eye by brightening the center and gently darkening the edges. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. We're continuing our journey through every Nick 8 Color Effects filter, so you'll know exactly what each does and when to reach for it. I've got three different examples for you today, a wildlife image, a flower image, and a landscape image. So you can really see how this filter performs across a variety of subjects. It's a really simple and easy filter to use, but as you'll see, it's very effective. Let's start out with this wildlife shot. What I want to do is just bring more attention to the bird, and we can do it very easily with this filter. Now, this is basically a vignette filter. However, it also allows us to lighten a center, which makes it kind of special. So let's go ahead and check it out. But first, DxO just released Film Pack 8, and I'll be covering it in an upcoming video. If you want Nick Collection 8 or any other DxO software, use my affiliate links below and the code Dave Kelly to save 15%. When you use my affiliate links, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thanks for supporting the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And now for the dark and light and center filter. Now, if we look over here to the right, you'll notice we have a shape. We can adjust the shape of the vignette. We have center luminosity border luminosity, and center size, and we also have a place center. For instance, on this image, for place center, I click right here, and let's uh, click right here, right on the bird, because we want to draw some attention to the bird. Now, what we could do is take center luminosity. You could darken the luminosity or lighten it. In most cases, you're going to want to lighten it, but don't overdo it. Let's start out maybe right around here, like at 22%. Now, for border luminosity we can adjust this to the left. So let's take it to the left. Now, I don't want to go too dark. I just want to bring out some emphasis to the bird. And now we can adjust the center size so we can make the center larger or smaller. And you just want to draw the attention to the bird. So I don't want to make it too big. So maybe right around here, like around 17%. Now we have shape. And what I like to do here is Click the drop down. This is shape one. This is shape two. Which shape do you like the best? One or two? I think I like one. So we'll click on one. And now let me shut this off. Here's before and here's after. But see how that attention is drawn to the bird? Maybe I'll make it a little bit lighter. Not too much. Maybe right about here. And let's make it a little bit darker on the border luminosity. Maybe right about here. Now let me shut this off. Here's before and here's after. But see how our focus is now drawn to the bird. Now you want to be subtle here. You don't want to overdo it and make it look like you're really pointing at this bird. But I think that looks good. Again, here's the before and here's the after. Very simple and easy to use, but I love this filter. It's really great. Now you also have the opacity slider. And what I like to do is drag it the whole way off and then just build it up slowly and stop where I think I'm really drawing attention to the bird, but not going overboard. And maybe right about here. Here's before and here's after, but isn't that effective? Now let's try a different type of an image. Here's a flower image. Now right now we have even lighting the whole way across the entire image, but let's make it a little more interesting with the dark and light and center filter. I'll start by placing a center, so click right here, and I think I want this flower to be the center of attraction, so I'm going to click right here. And now, let's increase the center luminosity a bit. Again, you don't want to go too crazy here. I'm going to go right about here, 28%. Now let's darken the border luminosity, so we'll take this back. Again, I don't want to go too far. You don't want to overdo these, maybe at around 17%. Let me shut this off. Here's before and here's after. See how that attention is drawn in here? And now let's try the shape. Right now we're on shape one. Here's shape two. Here's shape one. Here's shape two. I think I'll go with shape two. I think I'll darken the border a little bit more. Not too much, but just a little wee bit. Maybe right about there. And my too light on the center? Maybe just a little bit too light. I'll pull this back a little bit. Now let me shut this off. Here's before and here's after. Isn't that cool? Now we have more attention here in the center. And don't forget, we can adjust the center size. We can make that center larger or smaller. And I think I'm going to go, I think, right around here, 19%. And then opacity. Again, I like to take it the whole way off and then just build it up slowly and stop where I think it looks good. 
And I think it looks good maybe right about here. Now, let me shut this off. Here's before, here's after. I really like it. And now look at the image when I shut this off. See how flat that lighting is? And now when I turn it back on, the lighting just is a lot more interesting. It's a subtle effect, but sometimes these subtle effects can really make a big difference in the final edit. Here's my last example, a landscape image. I love the way everything converges right in this area, and I'd like to draw some attention there. I don't want it to be overdone, but just very subtle. And the darkened light and center filter is perfect for that. Click right here. We're going to place the center right about here. I think that should be good. Now let's go ahead and lighten up the center just a bit. So I think I'll take it to, let's try right around here, 26%. Let's darken the border luminosity, drag this to the left, not too far, but maybe right about there at 16%. And now we can adjust the center size. Do we want to make it larger or smaller? Maybe a little smaller, maybe right about in this area right here. And now let's check the shape. This is shape one. This is shape two. Shape one, shape two. I think I like shape two. Now let me shut this off. Here's before, here's after. I think it's a little too light. I'm going to pull back on the center luminosity a little bit, maybe to right about here, 17%. Let me shut this off. Here's before, here is after. Again, before and after. Now let's take the overall opacity. Let's take it the whole way off, and let's build it up slowly and stop where we think it looks natural. And I think it looks good, maybe right around 80%. Let me shut this off. Here's before, here's after. Isn't that cool? Now our eye is going to here, but it's subtle, but it does draw the eye. As you can see, this is a very easy filter to use, but it's very effective. So give it a try and let me know what you think. Hey, please leave comments and questions. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more of these videos. And stay tuned for that Film Pack 8 video coming up soon. Well, there it is, everyone. That was the Dark and Light and Center found in Nick 8 Color Effects. I do hope you give it a try. Hey, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you receive all notifications, and then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.